Wanting to know more about Birmingham, Alabama, here's a quick pro-con list for one of the largest cities in the state. And it would be super helpful if you could hit the like and subscribe button if you find these type of videos valuable. Stay watching till the end when I reveal my personal con I have with Birmingham, Alabama. Let's start with the pros. We have an international airport that's incredibly easy to fly in and out of. Plus, it's been renovated, so as of late, getting to the airport early and hanging out, it isn't so bad. The path to home ownership is affordable. The average cost of a single family home in the Birmingham Metro was $320,000 over the past 12 months. Property taxes are low, some of the lowest in the nation. Average for the Birmingham Metro is around $800 for the year. You get an urban city with small town vibes here and all of the surrounding suburbs are highly desirable. There's amazing food and restaurants. The list is really too long, but Helen, Bottega, The Essential, Galleon Garden, Highlands Bar and Grill are all absolutely incredible and worth making a reservation at. The food and whiskey at Dread River Distillery deserves an honorable mention for sure. Speaking of alcohol, there are awesome breweries located right here in the city. We have a legit brewery trail called Magic City Brewery Trail. It's complete with 12 breweries all downtown. The access to healthcare is beyond top notch with several high ranking hospitals, UAB ranking number one for the state, and it happens to be Birmingham's largest employer. Birmingham is an active downtown with cool settings that include rooftop bars, underground cocktail bars, ample music and event venues, plus the historic theaters like the Lyric and Alabama Theater still have shows annually. There are plenty of family-friendly activities to do. We have a local water park, many splash pads, the zoo, botanical gardens, hiking, parks, and local playgrounds in nearly every suburb. Red Mountain Park, Oak Mountain State Park, and Ruffer Mountain are so close to city limits and all quickly accessible. Plus, Region Stadium is a place where you can go watch minor league baseball games with the family. The university and colleges are all highly sought after. Statistically, the colleges in Birmingham have more out-of-state students than in-state students. And lastly, Birmingham is centrally located to other cities like Nashville, Atlanta, Chattanooga, and the beautiful beaches. Now, let's chat about some of the cons. Seasonal severe weather is to be expected and tornadoes are common. You're right in the heart of the Bible Belt, which means a lot of popular establishments are gonna be closed on Sunday. Low income areas have high crime, but the crime tends to stick to very select areas and it definitely doesn't reflect the city as a whole. There's intense summer heat due to high humidity because the average summer temps are around 90 degrees. Though there are great grade level schools, elementary, middle, and high, the lower education doesn't rank as high as the college education does in the state. And Alabama also has higher sales tax than most realize. It's 10% here, while the national average is 7.25%. And lastly, my personal hangup. The con is that there's no river that runs through downtown like other major cities have elsewhere in the state. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you're thinking about buying or selling in Central Alabama, our team would love to be your real estate agents of choice. Our contact info is in the description below.